show and she loves the pretzels from pretzel company these how much would you spend to get one large fresh made pretzel that and a little thing of cheese and you're probably close to a ten dollar bill this is going to give you eight of these big ones and you're going to get it for $28.60. So it's a great value. I just want you to know that this breaks down into five monthly payments of $5.72. And Philip Given is going to tell us all about it. He is the co-founder with his brother. And his that family runs this bakery that makes these amazing pretzels and the pretzel company. Hello, Philip. How are you? I'm doing great. I, you know, anytime I'm hanging out with soft pretzels, I'm I'm doing okay. And look at the size of these. These are our monster size. That soft looks like pretzels. a steering wheel. I mean, it, you know, I I don't have a very small face, and you can see that that this pretzel is holding its own. But yeah, this is this is the largest pretzel that we make. Wow. Uh, it's our most popular pretzel on QVC. Yeah. And I think when people get it home, they're really just kind of blown away by the size and the yeah. quality of this bad boy. Now, Philip. Kind of go back, tell me the story of your family and the bakery, and then how did you get into making of the pretzels and getting to QVC? Yeah, you know, so we were in York, Pennsylvania, uh, not too far from, from QVC headquarters there, Correct. just outside of Philadelphia. So if you uh, put a pin in York and draw a circle about 100 miles, we call that pretzel country. So <laughs> we are in the heart of pretzel country. I've spent most of my life in the heart of pretzel country, being surrounded by soft pretzels and hard pretzels. Um, we started making soft pretzels in 2014 in downtown York. So, you know, prior to the pandemic, um, we had this simple recipe, which you're seeing on screen right now, which is flour, water, yeast, salt, brown sugar, and canola oil. Every pretzel we make is hand twisted, and it's been hand twisted that way since 2014 wow. when we started the bakery. We didn't start shipping these pretzels until the pandemic um, in about 2021. And then we were fortunate enough to launch with QVC in August of last year. So not even a year um, with QVC, wow. but you know we we've done a, a tremendous amount of business uh, mm -hmm. with our QVC customers. We love them dearly, and for me, I get to share a product that my family, my bakers, work very hard on and are very proud yeah. of every single day. And look, you know, they they were just pulling them out of the oven. Yeah. Uh, today is an off day for us because we don't, you know, if you look behind me, I'm standing in the bakery right now. Yeah. I don't have a freezer. I don't have, uh, you know, giant refrigeration. All of our pretzels are, are mixed, baked, twisted, and then shipped out all in the same day. So if you're, wow. you're at home right now and you're placing an order, the pretzels that you're ordering haven't even been twisted yet. So my uh -huh. bakers start at 5 a.m. every day, and, man, this place smells so, so good uh, throughout the entire day when they're baking this pretzel. Wow. So describe your pretzel to me. What makes yours special? And we call them soft pretzels, but kind yep. of give me the feeling of what is it like on the exterior and on the interior. And by the way, you are the pick of my show for my producer, Jen, who, by the way, bought your pretzels last week on National Pretzel Day. And she yeah, loves them. We, we, we had such a great day. Thank you, Jen. We had such a great day on National Pretzel Day. And that's what, uh, you know, most of this week will be producing pretzels that were purchased last week for QVC. Uh -huh. So it's really great. You know, I've got just off camera, we've got pallets and pallets of flour and fresh brown sugar and all these ingredients that will turn into these pretzels. So yeah. to your question, you know, they arrive. Um, so they ship in these awesome boxes okay. that say with love oh. from York. They've got an awesome pretzel on the front. So if you are looking for something um, that could possibly be a gift, we love this box. And every box of pretzels gets shipped in that box. Um, and then they arrive just like this. So they're fully baked, ambient. If you've purchased uh, bagels on QVC, yeah. it's a very similar packaging to that. Mm -hmm. uh, not frozen. They're shipped and baked fresh the same day. But they're fully cooked. So when they arrive, they look, they look just like this. You'll notice that they don't have salt. We do, of course include oh. that salt packet yes. so you can put as much or as little salt as you want but these pretzels really come alive in the oven so ah. to your point you're gonna this pretzel i i reheated it was baked yesterday mm -hmm. i'm reheating it today a very similar experience to to many of you that will have at home 
but you can see it's all for me this monster size soft pretzel is about that exterior and you can see how soft and easy it is to pull apart oh. a little bit of a crisp on the edge yes uh but perfectly salted you know you uh when when these pretzels arrive just preheat your oven to 425 degrees mm -hmm. a little bit of butter a little bit of water on the outside if you want but i always recommend butter you really just want to kind of coat the outside of the pretzel yeah. and then sprinkle it with, with as much salt as you want. If if you forget, I've got a very colorful, <laughs> very easy to understand instruction Good. sheet. Um, but yeah, so they are shipped fresh. If you're not going to eat them within, let's say, 24 hours. Uh -huh. And, you know, th this is what eight of these monster sized soft pretzels. It's really hard for me to set up this demo because yeah. they are enormous, <laughs> enormous are. pretzels. That's amazing. So you can put some in the some in the freezer. Yeah. Uh, they're good for up to three months in the freezer. Okay. You can just bring them out and sit them out for about 30 minutes room temperature and they are bakery fresh. I mean, you, oh. unless you knocked on my door here in York, Pennsylvania, yeah. you're not gonna get a fresher soft pretzel in your kitchen. <laughs> wow, I'll tell you, you know, I grew up in Minnesota. We didn't know pretzels. We didn't understand uh -huh. that. But when 30 some years ago, when my husband and I moved here uh, outside of Philadelphia for this job, I'm telling you, we learned real fast about the whole, you know, love of pretzels. And yep. I just have to ask you, what are some of your favorite ways to or what are some of your favorite things to dip them in i mean honestly yeah. my favorite is melted cheese i mean uh -huh. <laughs> really but even just mustard is awesome yeah you know we um we do uh on qvc some of our products do come with either a cheese or a mustard uh, mm -hmm. i always say you know for me especially starting with the monster size soft pretzel Whatever your favorite dip is, for me, that's a kind of a spicy brown mustard. Yeah. And I love to just take that pretzel and make a little smiley face oh. right on the bottom. <laughs> and, I see. you know, I'll tell you, my kids could eat this every single day after school. It's monster yeah. size, so they can split it. One yes. pretzel would, sure. would absolutely be good for two kids. Yeah. But, you know, you can get crazy with these things. Wow. Um, you know, I talked to, to, I think Rick was the, the last guest that you have, and yeah. he is such a creative chef, always coming up with great ideas. Yeah. Crab dip is something that is extremely popular. We're not yeah. that far from Baltimore, Maryland. Everybody loves right. good crab dip. A melted cheddar, uh, which is really easy to make at home yeah. if, you, if you don't have access to one. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I really like to take these the sweet direction too. So I was just you, gonna say, can I, yeah, can so I if, put them in a little uh, cinnamon sugar kind of thing? 100 percent and yeah. if you ask my kids that's going to be their favorite way yeah. uh you know my when wow. they go over to my mom's house their their grandma's house it's mm -hmm. cinnamon sugar pretzels all day so <gasps> you're just going to preheat the oven yeah cover it in butter when it comes out your mixture of cinnamon and sugar i like to do like a little vanilla glaze on the top or a little Ooh. chocolate fudge on the top oh, you can really wow. take them truly Amazing. like dessert destination pretzels yeah now we've sold more than 200 right now we have fewer than 800 remaining and the fact is we do not have auto delivery this is where you're getting free shipping and handling you're getting five easy monthly payments I I can tell you whether you live in Oregon, Washington State, California, Texas, way out there, Colorado, you name it, you are getting the East Coast, the Philadelphia, York, Pennsylvania kind of taste of soft pretzels. Mm -hmm. And you know what? A lot of people obviously move around the country and mm -hmm. they always say, you know, oh, I wish I had this or I wish I had that. I miss that from home, you know? And so it's like, if you need that Pennsylvania wonderful soft pretzel, this is the one. It's so interesting that it is that large. But you know what? I was thinking the same thing is that when you were saying your kids split it, you know, that mm -hmm. would be one of those that I could put one in the oven and, you know, and put it, uh, put the butter on it, put the salt on it or whatever. And my husband and I then could totally share that one, you know, or even you could break it into threes if there's, you know, a mom uh, or two adults and a child or whatever it might be so I yeah, think it's you can you can split yeah. it up and um, right. it, you know this one is so big imagine this on a charcuterie board with exactly. a little bit of cheese in the center a little yeah. bit of uh, you know salami or pepperoni right in the center it yeah. really is 
kind of the perfect base. And you hit the nail on the head. You know, what we hear from uh, our customers and from PVC customers, this isn't a pretzel that you can go in, uh, you know, Kansas or Minnesota and go to the grocery store and get. There's mm -hmm. just nothing that you're going to get in the freezer <laughs> aisle that matches what we do here. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we, there, we hand twist each of these pretzels. Wow. I don't have like robots. I want to show that video again. That. Because yeah, these so people, we, I'm telling you, I don't know how they do it and they do it fast. And it's like, um, <laughs> walk me through the process here, Philip. Yeah, so it's it, we love to say that we have such a simple recipe. It's flour, water, yeast, brown sugar, canola oil, salt, and then these are my team of bakers. And you know that where they are twisting is about 50 feet away from me. And each of these monster-sized soft pretzels are twisted by hand. It's cool because you can see a little bit of love and a little bit of variation in each one because yeah. they're not robots, right? Like they are right. hand twisting these. And then uh, they are they proof so they get nice and fluffy and, and that soft texture on the inside before going into the oven where they're baked at 465 degrees. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is a, a very straightforward process for us because we've made millions and millions of soft pretzels since 2014. Yeah. But, uh, you know, outside of that pretzel country, these hundred mile, this hundred mile area around yeah. York, you can't really get this in every part of the United States. So it's, right. We love the honor that we have of being able to ship these to people's front doors. Here at QVC is the way you get it in any of the states. 300 mm -hmm. of these to, uh, have already been ordered. We have 700 left to go around. I want to remind you, one of those big pretzels, those monster pretzels around here would be easily a $10 bill. You're paying $3.50 each, and yet two to three people could eat them. Philip, what a pleasure to meet you. I can't wait to try one of your pretzels. I'm serious. I, I'm really looking forward to it. Well, we'll make that happen. If you're ever in York, come and uh, visit the bakery. You know, getting one right out of our bakery ovens is an mm -hmm. unmatched experience. So I'm hopefully sure. I can share that with you. I'm sure. Thank you, Philip. Have a great uh, weekend. Thank you. And by you the way, well. we have another update for you because 16 of you said, oh, yeah, I want those Italian desserts. And I don't blame you because those were amazing. But they're all gone. We'll have to wait till we can get some more in because they are made in Italy. If you like the blouse I have.